Well, Liam, it's been a fantastic campaign, of course. We now know you have two finalists uh, at the weekend. Uh, and Ballymac Wild, of course, you know, just a perennial finalist, a real warrior of a greyhound. He's got a great record. He's got a re great record, but just before you go there, John, I'd, I'd like to really appreciate Star Sports sponsorship. Kevin Booty, fantastic job laid out here. And it's great to see the Derby and, and you know, long may it live and long may it, the internationals between the two countries continue. And we're here, we've got this dog, super dog, you know, a competition dog out and out and thrives in racing. And, you know, he might be drawn that little bit wide in five, but we have five now and he's got to make the best of it. And um, he's in brilliant form, came out of his race well, and we're looking forward to the big one. And you had um, no doubts about him you know, competing at uh, this level once again. Having run over 600 at Shelbourne Park, you knew he had the speed to compete in the ground up. Yeah, well, you know, having a quick chat with a few people before we came over, first of all, I was looking at the screens a few nights, I thought it was an early pace track, and then I talked to a few people and they said, you know, if you don't get the trip, there's no point to bring in. You, you know, you need a solid 550, 600 yards out. So, you know, he was an obvious choice for that. Um, he's a clever dog. Probably likes the rails, he likes to hug the rails and watch his openings, but he's five the next night. But again, you know, it's really about looking if he can, if he can slip, slip somewhere in, the, in behind him. He's well capable of picking it up, but now you're into a derby final, the class of dog has much improved. And it's all to play for, but listen, it's nice to be in the hat. And for his own CV, of course, an Irish derby finalist before, mm. yeah, he's no stranger to the big occasion. He'll handle it at the weekend. Correct, yes. You know, he, he started his career in the juvenile and three, which he won in, in 20, 28, 20 something uh, as a raw pup. And he hit the bar a couple of places. He was in the derby final. He was in definitely three, he was his favourite for the ledger. And then he went to the Guinness 600, which he had a, a you know, a fantastic race, got up on the line to win. He, he knows the score, he knows the time of day. Um, so we're just hoping for a bit of luck on the night. And for you, finally and personally, a sense of achievement in terms of two derby finals? I sure listen, of course you do. I mean, it is not something you do every day of the week. I mean, and, and we brought six dogs. I thought every one of them each night, you know, did themselves proud. Maybe area of, of all of them didn't sparkle, to be fair about it. And, and can you make excuses? Did she settle? She did settle, and there was no excuse in that. Like, you know, maybe she didn't run the track. I, I can't, you know, she's gone back to Dublin since, won twice since, and, you know, you, you put your head around that, you really can, but that's greyhounds, and they run different tracks, different places, so, you know, we've got to get on with that. And you're getting on with it very well. Liam, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Cheers, Jonathan.